hi i'm home eee! it looks amazing i love it i'm obsessed with it it's everything i i love it so much morgan did such a good job and i am gonna tag her instagram account down below then you can go and get your hair done by morgan or anyone else at fox and jane because they're all really good and they're really awesome and it's so friendly and I love any I love everyone there. It was just really fun. It was a great time. It was so fun. <laughs> it just feels like so fun and so fresh. And this isn't even like a good <laughs> This is a better angle because like the lighting, you know? But she's a little blondie again and I'm just so happy. Blondes truly have so much fun. My vibes are gonna be a lot better now. But I've had my hair done. It's gonna give me a nice little ego boost for a while, you know. Hi, okay, so I just got some work done at the coffee shop. Now I'm leaving to go um, check in on the cat that I'm sitting, uh, and then I have to walk Toby. So, let's go. <laughs> it's a very busy day today. I'm going to take you all along with me, and it's going to be really fun. And I just love my hair, and I can't stop looking at myself anyway, whatever. <laughs> Picking up Connor's prints for his gallery. So excited. We're so excited. I can't wait to see them. He can't wait to see them. It's gonna be so good. Looks so fucking good. We just picked up the prints. No, we're not gonna show them to you. You don't get to see them yet until the gallery. Um these look so good. I'm they're so excited. Amazing. We only have to reprint two because they were a little dirty. Um yeah. Printer work. Print your work. That's all I gotta say. Print your work. Slay. <laughs> Just print it. You're very handsome today. Thank you. I love your hair. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, stop planning. I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> We're gonna go and pick up a coffee, and then Connor's gonna come walk Toby with me. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs> joking. You are joking. you what I got because I got some stuff for my new hair I got some stuff for my skin because as we can see there's things that are happening that I don't want to happen so we're gonna try and fix them um, for starters I got a new face wash acne control cleanser CeraVe um, this is the best toothpaste in the whole world Peridontax it's incredible um, I also got this healing power mask um, that I'm gonna try tomorrow 
before I wash my hair because we don't have anything to wash my hair tonight. Um, I got this redness um, primer remover because I bought the Glossier makeup and I love it. It's just now that I've randomly decided to break out, and I was breaking out before the Glossier. It's not that's not what's breaking me, making me break out. Um, now I have redness on my face from my random breakouts, so I just wanted to cover it because the Glossier doesn't have much coverage. Um, and then did I already show you this? I got heat protectant spray, and then I think the last thing I got is the Elf cleansing balm so I'm really excited to just like put on the full face of makeup and then take it off with that I'll let you know how it goes <laughs> hi vlog so I am gonna wash my hair for the first time it's Friday I got my hair done on Sunday um yeah let's wash my hair and we're gonna do a hair mask um I'm very excited and then I'm gonna like do my makeup and stuff I got some new makeup and things yesterday that I'm really excited to try I want to style my hair let's get into it. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm gonna throw on a podcast and I keep forgetting to take my pimple patches off when I get in the shower. <laughs> so I'm gonna remember this time hopefully to take my pimple patches off before I get in the shower. <laughs> I just put my hair mask in. Um, now I'm going to journal while I wait for my timer to be done. And then I'll keep you posted. We'll see how it looks. I really like it so far. Like I like the way I like the way it felt while I was putting it in my hair. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> okay, so I just finished journaling um, and doing my affirmations. And some of the affirmations I did were: I deserve to live the life of my dreams. I am transforming into my true, authentic self, and I attract positivity, success, and good people around me. Um, and then some of the journal prompts I did were today I am grateful for, and then I listed three things that I'm grateful for, and then and then my other prompt was I'm currently feeling dot dot dot, and then like the three things that I'm currently feeling. And some of the things I'm currently feeling are um, excited for the future, um, I'm content with my social life, and I'm feeling very grateful for my life at the moment. Um, I just feel like things are coming together, so I'd like to stay on that wave. Um, yeah, I'm just really vibing with my life right now, um, which is good. Good morning vlog. It's very noisy in my house right now. I have the dishwasher running. I have the laundry going, so sorry. Um, let's get ready to go and take digitals for modeling. I'm very excited. Okay, so like I said, I'm getting ready to go <laughs> take digitals. Um, I haven't taken digitals in several years um, because I did take a bit of a break from modeling. Um, my agency fell apart um, during COVID. Well, I mean, we're still in COVID, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, my agent went back to Canada and then all the other agents left the agency and yeah, that was just kind of it. Like it just like was over. <laughs> and I've been kind of thinking about getting back into it for a few months and it's been something that's been weighing on my mind. Um, I haven't really talked about it with anyone other than like my close friends and family. And yeah, the opportunity just kind of presented itself and I'm gonna go and meet with an agency in Denver. So I'm really excited about that. I'm not meeting with them today, I'm meeting with them on Monday. Um, but right now I'm getting ready because Connor's gonna be off soon and he's gonna take my digitals for me. So let's get ready. Um, <laughs> I'm like kind of nervous, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, what am I doing? See, I'm like nervous. I don't even know what to do with myself. I just feel so... It's a good nervous though. Like I'm excited. Um, oh, I need contacts. I need to put in my contacts. <laughs> okay, my contacts are in. The lighting in here is awful. I'm so sick of it. I need to get a light. I know. We've talked about it. We've discussed. <laughs> okay, what do I need? 
rose water. I don't wash my face in the morning. Why is this leaking? Ugh. Um, sorry, it's kind of loud. I'm doing my laundry right now and it's just not as cute in here with the door closed. Um, cause then you can see all the <laughs> robes and stuff that are hanging up. And that's just not really what I'm going for in the aesthetic of my vlogs, you know? I'm torn between what tank top I should wear. This is more of a loose fitting tank top and then I do have a tighter tank top, but we'll, we'll try it out. Um, what do I want to start with? I have this gigantic pimple on my face. Um, other than that, I have pretty good skin, but I have this huge pimple on my face that we're going to try and cover up even though it's probably going to get edited out regardless. Um, now I'm going to do the True Cream Aqua Balm. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. It's like my favorite moisturizer I've ever tried, granted. I was using Pond's before this, but <laughs> it's the best. This one yesterday in my TikTok video, I did a little routine, um, and I don't think I like this very much. This stuff, it did not. Um, it says it lasts up to 24 hours. It didn't even last up to six. So I don't know. Can you return makeup? <laughs> I'm really just not vibing with it. Also, I don't. I put it on and I was so green. Like, do I need to put it on with a sponge? I think I'm gonna use a sponge. Let's wash the sponge. So right now I'm feeling really excited to get back into modeling. Um, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's because it's been a couple years. Um, but I don't know. I think my opinion is that, or my belief is that the opportunity would not, the opportunity would not be presenting itself if I wasn't ready for it. Um, and I do feel like I'm at a place in my life where I am, you know, more secure with myself. I feel more confident, I feel healthy, and I feel like I just am ready to work really hard. Um, which I think is a great place to be. Um, and I mean like work really hard for myself not for superficial reasons, I guess. Um, yeah. Again, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Like, I just think, I know it's supposed to be green, but maybe I didn't do it right last time. Because now it's like blended in fully to my skin. Yesterday, I looked like Shrek when I was putting it on. It was pretty gnarly. Um, so I just applied the redness primer, um, and now the Colossia Skin Tint. This is the reason I got the skin tint. This is the reason why I got my hair done. Um, yeah, I just kind of like made a decision, and now I'm sticking to it, and I'm gonna do it. I think previously, like, when my agency just kind of like fell apart and with COVID happening and everything, I was really stressed out. I had a lot going on with my family and I think I just thought like, it was a sign that I just like shouldn't be doing it anymore. <laughs> and I had just had like a really tough period of my life um, because I was in China on a modeling contract um, for a couple of months and I didn't book any work. So that was like a big blow to my self-esteem at that point in my career. So I've been doing it, you know, I've been doing this since I was 17. I didn't go to college because I wanted to do this. Like, this is what I wanted to pursue. And that China contract was what I was like waiting for my whole career. And then I got it. 
and nothing happened. I did one photo shoot. I was supposed to be there for three months. I came home early. This was right before COVID too. I mean, it was pretty gnarly. Um, there was a lot of stress, worldly stress and my own stress um, at that point in my life was just really out of control. And then I came back to California. I booked one more job in January and then that was kind of it. Um, things just stopped. I mean, the whole world just stopped, so. I just thought like that's what was meant to happen, you know, so I didn't pursue the idea of modeling anymore after that. Um, I just thought my time was up and now I feel differently. Now I feel like that was a much needed break at that point in my life. And I was so disappointed after what had happened in China that I just was like ready to give up, you know? Um, but now I no longer feel that way. I feel ready to try again. <laughs> I feel hopeful about the place I'm at in my life and I'm ready to pursue my career again. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a much better place mentally and that I can handle a lot more stress than I used to. Oh my god, I washed my beauty blender and then I didn't use it. Um, yeah, I just feel like I'm at a good spot mentally, physically, I feel healthy, I feel great about my life. I don't know. I have all these hobbies now. Like before modeling was just like everything to me and now it's not. Now I have like film photography. I have art. I have music. I have, you know, TikTok is really fun. Um, I'm finding joy in other areas of my life. So now I'm at a point where I don't need modeling to be my everything. It doesn't need to be my entire distraction from the things that are going wrong in my life. Like I can't expect it to fix everything, which I think I was at a point several years ago where I did want it to fix everything because I was looking for a distraction from my life and my problems. Um, and now, now I can work on my problems in other ways, right? So I'm using the Stretch Concealer in shade G11. Um, the skin tint is also in the shade G11. Um, oops, this is gross and all wet. Yeah, so look at, yeah, I think that that covered it pretty well, but I think that that covered the pimple really well, but I'm not sure just how long it's gonna stay. We'll see. I mean, I don't need to stay forever. Um, I am going to a dinner today, so worst case scenario, I can just, I'll probably get ready again before the dinner. Um, it looks really nice, actually. And I'm not gonna contour my skin or anything. Not gonna put bronzer on, not gonna put on blush. Um, just the base skin. And now I am gonna curl my eyelashes. And, oh, Jesus Christ. just got lodged into the back of my drawer. Um, I am gonna do my eyebrows. Um, say skin tint it gives me enough glow as it is um 
Okay, what do we need? Okay. Let's curl these baddies. Look at my eyelashes. And now they're all cute and up. I need to wipe the makeup off of my <laughs> lips. We'll do that though. This eyebrow is causing me some issues um, lately. I don't know what's up with it, but it's really just not working for me. <sighs> I need to do this in the mirror. Okay, I just finished my eyebrows and I pulled my eyelashes and now I'm gonna set my makeup. I think I need to wipe. I just have to fix part of the concealer I wiped away. Okay, now I'm just gonna set my face and brush my hair. Um, and then I think I'm ready to take this rolls. I might change my top, we'll see. I have to wait for Connor to come home, but then, yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> kind of nervous. Okay, hi. We just finished taking my digitals and now we just picked up a couple things for Connor's show. And now where are we going? Michael's and Mike's. Joanne's, Mike, Mike's, Mike's camera. camera. And then after we're gonna go to Michael's because I have to get measuring tape. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> it's gorgeous out today. It's really cold, but it's so bright. It's just so sunny, it's nice. We just got back from dinner at our friend's house. Um, I'm a little drunk. <laughs> um, it was really fun. We were at our friend Emma and Shane's house. They had us over for dinner. They made this yummy pasta. It was so good. And we were just there for a few hours and it was really fun. And our friends Haley and Cody were there too, which was great. Um, but now we're home and <laughs> I want to make bean and cheese burritos because I'm hungry again. <laughs> so I'm gonna make some bean and cheese burritos. So I picked up a can of refried beans because I knew I was gonna be hungry. Um, oh my God, and we have salsa and guacamole. This is a whole situation. This is the cheese I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna microwave my beans. And then I'm gonna put it on my skillet situation and heat it up <laughs> um but we have been out like all day we had to go all the way to wheat ridge because the original camera shop we went to didn't have what connor needed and it was just a whole excursion we went to michael's after because i had to get measuring tape to take my measurements um <laughs> it was a whole day and now we're home I'm making us bean and cheese burritos. <laughs>